These seven lessons for today, I want to share. One, life is a battle. Life is not always bread and butter. Sometimes we have difficulties. Two, being a Christian does not exempt us from life's challenges. The Christian life is not a playground. Number three, all men have challenges, trials, and storms of life. But with Jesus in the boat of our life, we shall surely overcome. Number four, trials come to toughen us, to test us, to prove us, to prune us, to show our love and loyalty to the Almighty. Number five, in our trying times, we are able to differentiate between true and false brethren, between seasonal friends and stable friends, between caring family members or an unconcerned, uncaring family members. Between faithful leaders in the church and unfaithful leaders in the church. Between leaders who really care or leaders who just want to dominate our life. And so it means that in trying times, we know ourselves better. Personally, you will know yourself better. You will be able to know the areas of weakness where you need to grow in patience and endurance. And then you will also know those around you better. Number six lesson. The tougher the test, the sweeter the testimony. Why am I able to tell this kind of testimony today? Because of the test a pastor lost a wife, it was not a joke. Painful, tears in the days, tears in the light. Yet I can say that the tougher the test, the sweeter the testimony. The greater the trial, the greater the triumph. The fiercer the fire the brighter our shining forth as gold. You observe something about gold? Gold has to pass through fire before it can shine and that brighter. And I can say that great men are products of fullness of fire. We therefore trust in the Lord that despite our life's challenges, we will come out better, brighter, and bolder to face other lives issues in the name of Jesus and will be a benefit and encouragement and comfort to those who will pass through this later in life. Number seven lesson. In all these things, we are more than conquerors. All I can say to you that you need faith for every battle, trust in every trial, grace for every journey, and the Lord will bless you always and keep you on the winning side in Jesus name whatever you are going through or whatever you have gone through don't lose faith in the Lord the Lord loves you he knows that all things work together for good to those who love him Romans chapter 8 verse 28 and we know all things work together for good to them that love God Keep loving God in that challenge. Don't say no. For the fact that God can allow this to come my way, it means he doesn't love me. No. Life's challenge doesn't mean that God doesn't love me. In fact, God trusts you to go to. Look at it again. For we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. To them who are called according to his purpose. You are called. And it's because of your calling. That's why the devil is fighting you. It's because there's a great substance in you. So the enemy is fighting against that substance. But you will not lose the substance. You will not lose the grace of God. You will not lose the favor of God. All that God has meant you to be, you will become in the name of Jesus. So we can say in verse 37, Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. You will conquer. You will overcome. You will go through. You will overcome. Father, I thank you for the privilege we have to share this. And I'm praying, Lord, for anyone who may be going through trials of faith, that these few lessons we have shared and more we will share, we will gain from this, we will grow through this, we will have spiritual stamina, and we will not remain baby Christians who can face any trials in Jesus' name. Come to Christ. 
Continue in Christ. Grow in Christ. And your faith will stand firm to the end. In the end, all things will work together for your good. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Never give up. All these trials will give to you big, big testimonies in Jesus' name. Join me again when we have the privilege of sharing this next time. God bless you.